welcome uh, everyone to uh, the Word in Our Lives uh, podcast. Uh, this is uh, an initiative by AGCC Grace Temple Moscow, and basically what we're trying to do here is to um, get practical approaches of uh, the Word and the Gospel uh, in our practical lives and how to implement it. Uh, so we have here Brother Boyemi uh, and. Uh, Star Bimbola uh, on the show today. Uh, drum rolls. <laughs> well, first of all, the word intimacy means closeness. It could also mean oneness, being one with the Spirit of God. It's and it's not something that happens overnight as we learned in church today it would take time it would take patience it would take being intentional before you can really be intimate with somebody or the holy spirit in this case well uh, it's interesting um the way the scriptures um talked about intimacy with the holy spirit talking about communion with the holy spirit um this simply tells us um the kind of relationship that the holy spirit in, in himself intends to have with us he intends to have a relationship with us that he calls a kind of communion that he relates with us in a deep level mm -hmm. that he sees us the way we are and he intends that we also see him so it's a two-way thing so i think um the the communion or the intimacy with the holy spirit we are talking about is basically relationship deep relationship with the holy spirit that you know him as he is and that he knows you as you also are mm, i agree okay thank you very much um you see uh building the relationship uh, even if it's not the holy spirit with any with anyone that um it could be requires first time um spending time with whatsoever it is you want to build a relationship with so also for the holy spirit you want to build a relationship with the holy spirit you need to spend time with the holy spirit and um today we've been taught that um the holy spirit is a person he's not just in us he's also with us so if he's with us that means um it's then relatable that we can always speak with him and he can also speak to us and we can feel him he can also feel us so if that's the case we can always have that intimacy with him sharing that time with him deliberately you know setting time apart with him for him and um to get to know him better and um practically how is this done it's to know that we need to spend time in the word of god because that's where we get to know the person of the holy spirit we see we, we get to see how he has worked then we study his pattern doing that we get to know him then we can begin to relate with him practically in our own life. Well, just to add to what Brother Bear said, um, I think I would add, like he may, he gave the analogy of when you are in a relationship with somebody or getting to know somebody, mm -hmm. you have to prioritize them. Uh -huh. If you do not place their needs over your own or you don't even give it a second thought, how would my action affect this person? Mm -hmm. How would my decisions play out? Would this person like it if I did this? Would they not like it? Is it a good thing for them or not? Um, so I would just say prioritize him, how he would want to be loved. Just uh, I also heard the analogy somewhat it's like uh, don't love somebody how you think they want to be loved. Ask them how they want to be loved. So for example, maybe my love language is um, words of affirmation and the person would rather have gifts so no matter how many times i gas them up or heal them or give mm -hmm. compliments it really is not doing the trick but buy a rose for them if she's a lady or buy something nice for them a tie anything it would really go a long way for them so ask him how he would want to be loved like for the said and prioritize him uh, yeah. put him first Well, truth be told, if one has been with the Holy Spirit, right, uh, there will be evidence in the life of the person. It might not be something dramatic, but there will be you. You will know that oh, um, the, some changes will be right in your life that you know that okay, um, maybe it might be something as simple as uh, used to, you know, easily tell lies before. Something as simple as that. Now there's a kind of refrain when you want to just say the lie. Something just no you're not supposed to be doing this you know you. 
so it's, it might be as simple as that so these, these are changes that could be seen before it gets to something that might be so powerful maybe you can hear a voice or you can have some kind of serious encounter but some little changes will you begin to see them in your life these are evidences and okay this person has been spending time with the lord you know we look at the disciples when when people saw them they were like no these people have been with christ yeah. they can now see the, the, their works by their works they, they were able to label them as christians because they know that oh there was someone like that that was behaving like this now these people are, are behaving in, in that manner so they were, they were able to deduce that they, they spent time with christ so also if we if we also fellowship with the holy spirit people will be able to testify that no this person has changed they, they, they knew you before now they've seen something that why is this person behaving this way now definitely you know is an evidence that you've been with the holy spirit first of all i mean of course i completely agree with what he has said the main aim of relationship any form of relationship is that um there's an end goal yeah and then with the holy spirit it's going to be transformation because when we first come we come we come in our dirt we come in our how we are naked unashamed with all the bruises and baggages and then one by one he starts to take them off and then he gives us his own yoke that is now light and easy like he said there would be transformation you see things that um there was also an analogy i heard one time it's like maybe or even something that you probably have experienced someone puts on a kind of perfume maybe really strong concentrated and then you give the person a hug before you know it you walk away from the person and then you can still smell them on you so when you are intimate to the holy spirit he begins to rub off on you he you until you look like him i mean we continue to behold we continue to wait on him we continue to press until we now look like him from the little things like not telling lies anymore to not getting angry to when we now embody him when we walk when we talk when we do whatever we now represent the holy spirit fully for people who are out there uh, who are going to you know listen to this or you know, watch this uh, i think it's our uh, hope that you know that they are really inspired by this and that uh, uh, they understand that this is a journey, it's not it's a marathon of a sprint, and also um, that they're able to um, just, just really reflect uh, and view that sort of intimacy with the Holy Spirit because it's important. Uh, it's, uh, we need three things the love of God, the grace of the Father, which is always available, mm -hmm. and then the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. So, yeah. it's going to remain in that, you know, that relationship. That you so, uh, I think we'll end it. A wrap it up for today. Uh, so thank you so much uh, for giving us. Thank you time for today. having us. Thank you very much for having us. Sure, sure. Thank Thanks. you so much for having us.